Hello again. I'm finding more ways to keep in touch and look at different things that are in the news and in the business of dairying and then also how it applies to some of the tools and some of the features that have been built into NDS. I was looking just the other day through Dairy Herd Management, the online version, and they started talking about the manure and the concern about carbon and I read through this article and it got me thinking I'm not sure that a lot of users are familiar with part of what is inside the NDS platform so if we go to NDS and we look at a recipe you're all familiar with the recipe screen and I can hover over the boxes and use the what I call the Charlie Sniffin function. Charlie asked for this feature to blow this up and so I can blow up different portions of the screen here. What I'd really like to do is bring you down to the tabs down here and go into the excretion tab. Now if we look at excretion tab you can see that for this diet at uh, the ingredients that we have in and the 54.8 or 55 pounds of dry matter intake, it is actually predicting what we're going to see in the manure. We can see the fecal excretion and the wet manure and we can see the nitrogen in grams and the phosphorus in grams and then as we look over here it's going to give you the fecal composition according to your inputs, the digestibilities that we have entered in on starch and fiber, um, and also looking at the passage rate for increasing dry matter intake. Again, when we increase passage rate, we decrease digestibility. But this animal is being at uh, 55 more or less uh, intake right here. You can see these values. Down below over here now, I don't know if I get a blow up over here. Yeah, here we go. So now we've got some total, some nitrogen efficiency numbers in different parts of the, of the um, country are really paying attention to this, the Northeast, um, the Southwest. So you can actually see, and again, down below you can see the um, right over here, it's the expected or the current production. I am expecting 82 pounds of getting 82.8, so it doesn't mean a whole lot here, but you can see that current production, current expected production in the lower left hand of our pop-up screen here. But it gives you an idea of what your nitrogen efficiency numbers look like. And then it also comes over here and it gives us those, those values here on, on methane production per this animal. So once we have that, in light of some of this information uh, that's hit in the press about what this is a per cow snapshot, but there's another function within NDS that we can print and look at farm reports. So I'm in this dairy here. I'm going to go to my main screen, going to go to my recipes, and then what I may do is just go down to that dairy and right mouse click. As I right mouse click on the recipe list for the dairies I have, and this again is another aspect of using the farm structure to organize your recipes and your rations so that each, each recipe that you feed on a farm has a pin assigned to it and then you can have that current ration in there. So again, if I go to the farm and I right mouse click on the farm, it gives me this list of options that I can print reports for the farm. We could go over this 
in depth, but today what I want to do is just go down to the summary of the farm's excretion. And I want to click on that, and then as it's processing through, what it's doing is it's giving me a list of those diets that are on that farm within my farm structure. So I have a list of all the cows that are in in the ration that is in barn one and barn two, and then barn three and four are listed separately, different diets, the close-up diet, the far-off diet, the calves in the huts, and the heifers on this dairy. So what I can do on my farm visit is say, hey, these were basically eating 58 pounds of intake, and my milk production on those that group of animals was 89 pounds. So now it will give me a list and a output for the pin or herd for the day here. I'm listing on nitrogen, phosphorus, CO2, methane CO2 equivalents for the farm. So this is just a small report that's already in there for the excretion of the farm. Again, totally interactive on this part. Today we had 250 head here, and we had 200 here. So anything in yellow we can change. Also the fact that if I wanted to look at the impact on two on different diets, I can use this current recipe pull down and go back and get a different diet. Maybe I'm comparing lower and higher protein diets on, on this aspect of the output. So I can go back and get different recipes if I wish, different numbers, different intakes here. So again, this is just the total excretion right here for pen, herd, and um, for these outputs that we already have. Uh, let's see, on this screen here, I think down below here is the uh, report that you can print out. You can do that on a, an Excel, a, um, a report here, and you can get that data in a report form uh, as needed. So I just wanted to share that in light of this whole January, or, uh, March 24th uh, article in Dairy Herd Management and just show you what NDS can do by the recipe or, again, for the herd um, accumulation of that data for nutrient management. So. With that, I will um, thank you for your time and thanks for watching this.